Hello everybody, uh, my name is Sopal and welcome back to Photoshop Magic. Okay, so today we are going to uh, continue with the new project of creating a vertical panel effect. And we are almost done with this uh, project right here um, of uh, Denzel Washington. So um, we have about like four to five more projects of this vertical panel effect and I will be switching to a different effect of different people. Okay, to keep it interesting. All right, so this is a uh, part one of uh, video of a vertical panel effect of Denzel Washington since my videos are too long in the past so from this day forward I will limit my video to be around 10 minutes or so um, on YouTube uh, part 2 is in the upper right hand corner of YouTube so it's will be around here somewhere it will have the eye with the uh, a circle around it and I will also uh, put it as the first link in the description below for your convenient and it's also the same for Facebook okay so without further ado let's get started um, so as you can see in the thumbnail, uh, we have Denzel Washington right here. He has starred in uh, a lot of movies uh, in The Equalizer, Training Day, Flight, American Gangsters. I've seen almost all of them. And uh, he is an American actor, director, and producer. And he's been, you know, really well known for his movies. And I've seen a lot of his interviews and he's a very down-to-earth person. Uh, in this picture, he's, you know, um, giving a hug to Barack Obama, which is also famous. Um, so yeah. So without further ado, uh, let's get started. So I'm going to be talking a little bit about just uh, what the channel is about. Just, just, you know, keep it nice and short though. Okay, so basically Photoshop Magic is a channel uh, focuses it focuses on the magical and creative power of Photoshop. And it is designed for anybody who has no prior knowledge to get him or her excited and aspire to master Photoshop at the basic and intermediate level. Okay, so if you want to see more videos of basic and intermediate level Photoshop, consider subscribing, like, and turn on that notification bell so you are notified. Okay, and as always, use websites uh, that use the license that states that we are free to use, share, or modify, or even commercially, okay? So all these things I'm just going to briefly show you guys the license attribution here. It's all in the description below, so I'm not going to waste any more time. And if you uh, want to know how to download these images, uh, watch my past videos. It's also in the description below. So uh, please feel free to do so, okay? So without further ado, let's get started, okay? Because we only have 10 minutes, all right? So um, yeah, okay. So the very first thing we do, we open up Photoshop, okay? So from there, you want to go to File, and you want to click on Open, and you want to open the file that you need to open, okay? So it's not within here. It's in here. Let's see. Okay, so as you can see, um, I'm going to be working on uh, Denzel Washington. So I have about five more to go. So we got Taylor Swift next, LeBron James, Jennifer Lopez, Tom Welling, Superman, uh, Kristen Kruk, uh, you know, his love interest in there, and Erica Duran, who's also Lois Lane in Smallville. Okay, so yeah, so once we're all done with this project, I'm gonna continue with a brand new project, and I'm looking to do the 3D effects, all right? But without further ado, let's get started. So we got Denzel Washington, uh, and then we're gonna open up his file, right here, Denzel Washington, we're gonna click on open. And I will try to match this uh, panel effect as much as possible, but we are doing this live. So uh, when you do something live, you know, it, it can be a little bit different. Um, so I will try to match it. Okay, so as you can see, the uh, the shadow is green and also it's kind of like orange, just yellow uh, for the shade. Okay, okay, so we'll go from there. Okay, so as you can see, we have the image right there. Very first thing that we always have to do is just give it a name. So we're just going to... Put uh, Denzel, DL, W for Washington. So we're gonna click on OK. Perfect. So the the next thing that we have to do is we have to make a duplicate of it. So we have to uh, make sure it's highlighted, and we're gonna left click, hold, and drag Denzel W to down here, where with the plus sign with the square around it, right there. So make sure it's it's fairly small. You just gotta release it down there. So once down there, you're gonna release it, and if done right, you should be able to see Denzel W copy. Okay, so the next thing that we're going to do to make sure that the Denzel W copy is highlighted, we are going to create a new fill. Okay, this new fill has nothing to do with Denzel W copy. It's just that it's going to be on top of it. So that's why we have to make sure this one is highlighted, okay? So to get the new fill, we have to click on this half moon shape right here. Uh, left click on it and you have many different options. So you want to click on solid color. And we want to left click, hold and drag to the upper left hand corner of to be as white as possible for the color and we're going to click OK. Okay, so you should be able to see this new uh, color fill one 
section with the uh, a chain around it and you know uh, these two backgrounds okay and if done right you should be able to to see that and before we do anything else uh, we have to make sure to drag the Denzel W copy to be on top so in Photoshop anything that's on top is the one that you're gonna get to see first it's uh, many different layers uh, Photoshop's all about layers okay so we need this layer to be in the center all right okay so now before we do anything else we have to make sure that this foreground color is black and the background color is white and as you can see they're both white okay so whatever yours is you can actually just click on one of them so this is I'm gonna click on the foreground and I am going to sometimes you have to click on it twice for some reason and we have to uh, just change the color okay so this is the foreground so as you can see on the very top right here I'm gonna either uh, left click hold and drag to the bottom right or bottom left it doesn't really matter so this is the new color and this is the current color so it's white it's gonna be turned to black okay I'm gonna click okay and as if yours is switch you can actually switch the two around you can actually do it like this and yeah, between the, the two okay so we only have about like two more minutes so I'm just gonna try to hurry up real quick for for that 10 minute okay so so from there we have to make sure that all of these are, are all the same so the next thing that we want to click on would be the rectangle uh, you want to right click on it and it will give you many different options you want to click on rectangle tool okay so from the rectangle tool you have to make sure all of these settings are about the same to make to get the effect that you want okay so what you want to do is you want to make sure that it's unshaped if not already um, you know make sure it's not one of these two fill make sure it's black uh, stroke and make, make sure it has this uh, cross around it um, so that it will you know have the right effect that you need and the the point right here you want it to be around 10 or so okay so once that's all set up you want to just come down here you want to leave about 10 or 15 percent space between the edge and and the center and same as down here so we are going to left click hold and drag and just like so okay so from there all right so the next thing that you want to do you can either right click on it and click on free transform but there is a faster and, and much better way for us to be able to do this um, it is the shortcut is control T okay you hold the control button down, you tap T and there you have it okay so now we can actually move it around as we so choose and if I hover around all of these corners I can actually left click hold and drag uh, so it's the left hand side or right hand side it doesn't really matter okay so once I like the the way it's it is right now I'm gonna click on the check mark and you will get this message this operation will turn into a live shape okay so we're gonna click yes all right so now the next thing that we want to do is we want to drag the Denzel W copy to be on top of rectangle one okay so we're gonna left click hold and drag it there you go so now it's behind it you can't really see it this next one um, once you right click on it we are going to click on create a clipping mask what that does is it will bring it will transform the, the shape behind it so we're gonna click create a clipping mask so as you can see what that did was it turned that shape the rectangle shape into like a see-through where we're able to see the the image in the background okay so so now it's a good time to save which is also around the 10 minute mark also that we're, we're uh, I'm gonna show you okay so we have exactly one minute okay so yeah so from there so that's perfect so we want to be able to save our work right so we'll save our work in a little bit so now that we have both perfect it's gonna miss okay so yeah so we have one more minute so let me just show you um, exactly how we are going to go about our next step okay so now we're gonna make changes to the the rectangle itself we're gonna click on the rectangle we're gonna click on the FX right here we're gonna click on blend options so in the blend options you have many different options you have drop shadow right here which we're gonna click in the center and we're gonna change the color okay so we're gonna keep it a purple the distance is how you know long the distance you want to be if if it's at zero it's gonna be centered we're going to keep it center okay so now we want to go to stroke stroke is going to be the color that's outside here um so we can just change this color to like bluish in a way just keep it like that and i'm actually going to change it, this one to around like green or so okay just like so okay so now you have your first one so we're going to click on okay so yeah so this is the major uh, step that uh we have come over so 
um, this is the end of uh, part one. So we're going to start part two. Again, it's in the upper right hand corner, okay? So before we end this uh, section right here, we are going to save our work, okay? Because we never know if something were to go wrong. We're going to go to file. We are going to click on save. We're going to give it a name. So we're going to Denzel W panel one. Just like so, okay? So the first one, you always want to be a uh, Photoshop format. We're going to click save. We're going to click OK. And we are going to save it a second time, but this time we're going to go save as. But uh, we can just uh, save it as a JPEG also, okay? So because this is the end of part one, I totally forgot it's my first, you know, uh, part series. So we are going to do it right. So we are going to put Denzel Washington panel one, part one, okay? So when we do part two, I can just continue from part one to part two, okay? So we're going to click save, just like so. All right, and uh, thank you as always. And again, part two is going to be in the upper right-hand corner or your first link in the description below. Okay, as always, have a great day. Ah, 11 minutes.